Hello and welcome to your lightning fast forecast for March 26th, 2018. Before this video does start, this is proudly sponsored by Floyd Glass and Window. Check them out in the link below. Let's get right into it, starting with the pollen and the UV index. Pollen is relatively high today. As you can see, UV index also relatively high. Oh, it's going to tank later today, especially with those thunderstorms that look like they're going to be approaching. So speaking of thunderstorms, 40% chance of them this morning. Things are on 48, high of 51, low of 37. We may not even get to 51. We'll just have to see. But rain chances are going to gradually increase as the day does go on here, all the way up to a 70% chance of thunderstorms this evening and we may even have a severe thunderstorm. It would only be like one or two throughout the entire day, but it's definitely not just entirely out of the question. Getting into the next seven days, Tuesday, 100% chance of very heavy rain. Doesn't look like there's actually gonna be too much thunder with it, but a couple crackles of thunder are possible, um, or you could see some flash flooding from this. Two to three inches of rain could be um, falling after this with I-62, low 44. Then things actually continue to warm up after that before a cold front moves through on Thursday into Friday, which is why we do see that 60% chance of rain on Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, clouds gradually moving in as we do warm up before another cold front moves through late Sunday. By next Tuesday, we could see a low down to like 15 or 14 um, in temperatures, so things should get pretty cool. Getting into the view of the area, you can see there's some clouds here. This is actually um, from downtown, and so, yeah, this is when the sun was just rising. This was a little bit ago, uh, but you can see clearly just how um, good this place is looking right now. So, yeah, that's how that looks. Check me out on social media at microcasting on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. This is Microcasting St. Louis, signing out.